Hi everyone, this is Liz from Creative Life of Liz and I am here to do my setup for March in my Kit Life Daily. Um, I love this planner, it's working really well for me so I'm going to keep at it. I don't think I'm going to have any major changes from what I've been doing in the previous months. We'll see what happens when I do my quarterly review at the end of March. Um, but right now I think I'm going to mostly be sticking with what I've been doing. Um, for March, you can see there's a coloring page on this side. I actually did the coloring page um, for February. Um, so it's been kind of fun, uh, to be able to do that. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of in progress on my February stuff. Um, it's the 17th today, so still a decent amount of the month left to go. Um, but obviously I will finish things up when we get closer. Uh, so for March, I also have all these clips because there's stuff that I can't show, but we're going to see how this goes for March. This page, most of this is going to be filled out later. Um, I do know, um, I'm gonna put in grandparents postcards on my sending mail. Um, I do know that I'm going to send that. Uh, this is an iHow.38 uh, pen from Amazon, by the way, in case you're curious. Um, the other items, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be putting in. Uh, for these, I think for learning something new, I'm probably actually going to stick with calligraphy um, for March as well. Um, but we'll see if I want to add anything else. Spread kindness and be more present with those around you. That's still kind of up in the air. Um, for this, I'm not going to fill out what those items are for my tending list yet, but I do know I'm going to need a bunch of things. Um, so I have the mild liner. This is the yellow one. I just use the dot end of it every month. Um, to make some dots. So I'm just going to fill in uh, for sure. I'm going to need at least this many. And then I know I'm going to need at least a couple over here. So I'm just going to fill in two for now. Um, when we when we get really close to the day, like to the start of March, uh, probably the 28th of February, to be honest, I'm going to fill in what these actually are. Um, but that's all I really need for now. For this monthly calendar setup, I have a few washi tapes. Um, this one is kind of like a wide pond design. It's from Amazon. This one is kind of, I don't know, they look like little smoke rings. It's also from Amazon. Um, and then this is like a skinny navy and green washi, also from Amazon. Three different orders, probably three different companies slash people um, in there. But my plan is to just stick it down to cover up the days that I don't actually need um, so that I can fill something in. Um, there. So my plan is to kind of start with this wide washi here. I kind of wanted to embrace the colors since um, March is navy for the tab. I kind of wanted to highlight using navy colors. I need a ruler. This one's my like Cricut ruler. This will work. Um, it's a little hard to cut this because of the clips underneath, but we're going to make it work. And then I'm going to use this like smoke one also up there. Oh, and it tears. Well, that's fun. Okay. Um, I think it's actually maybe dragons. <laughs> um, we'll see. Okay. I'm just going to stick it down this way because I need to trim both ends because it tore. This one, I feel like I can just kind of pick the ends since it's not so wide. Okay, so there is that part. And then I'm also want to do it down here. Um, I feel like I really like this wide kind of turquoisey washi, but I don't use it very often. Um, it does fill up the entire bottom washi space on like a... Um, a recollections vertical uh, so that's also um, a good use of it that I just don't do very often for whatever reason all right I can't roll washi this way so this is gonna be an interesting challenge but I kind of want it to be right side up and I think that this reads as right side up to me okay um let's see there that's trimmed now 
So my monthly pages are overall not super fancy. Um, I don't do a ton with them. I can't show you what it looks like because I put things for work in my calendar once it gets going. Um, I am going to use these guys for a few things this month though. So first up on the 24th, we're gonna fly out to Phoenix. And then on the 28th, we are going to fly home. I've been using these little dots to mark. These are the stickers from the planner, by the way. I've been using these little dots to mark um, flights and stuff. And then also I want to put in this really skinny washi here. Um, I can actually put it all the way across, I think, because we're gonna be traveling the entire day or in Phoenix. Um, oh, this one went on the wrong day. Okay, uh, moving that to Tuesday, which is the day it's supposed to be on. Um, there we go. So we're gonna be in Phoenix for this whole long weekend, um, almost a week in actuality. So now that's marked off. Um, I think I'm just gonna write it here, like so. And then I think I'm gonna use these cute little sunglasses that also came with this, this kit. There we go. And then I'm gonna use one of these turquoise ones this day here is my birthday. It's actually my 30th, um, which is why we're kind of going away. And then um, the only other thing I really have going on, I'm just gonna not use a sticker for, is on the 8th I have um, a dentist appointment. We're going to have curling on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, but I can't, I'm gonna fold this in. I can't fill in um, what those are yet because it's a new draw. Um, so there's a new schedule and it hasn't been posted yet. So um, I'm gonna fill those in once I actually know what they are. I also have Every Monday, um, this is going to be plan with me um, 228 to 36. This is going to be plan with me 37 to 313. Plan with me 314 to 320. And then plan with me 321 to 327. Um, those four I know. I'm also going to put little arrows on these four guys. I don't know exactly what they're going to be right now, um, but we're going to figure that out as we go. I might try adding a like kits I'm using this month um, one up here. We'll see how that goes. And then maybe the February monthly, my kit life plan with me and my book mojo. Uh, for April for those two. Not totally sure, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I also want to put into here, um, I have four color options. I think I'm going to use this turquoise one. This is a HK pen. It's, it's like a Muji knockoff, basically. Um, I'm going to put in here to film like so. And then this one also gets dots. Um, I don't actually know how many things I need to film this month. So I'm just going to fill them all in and we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I'm going to fill in what I actually need to film a little bit later because that feels like too much work to do on camera. But this is pretty much what my monthly looks like. It's not super fancy or detailed. It's mostly functional, um, but it works really well for me. Uh, then we are on these pages. So what I found is that my current system here is working pretty well. Um, so I'm gonna do the same four goals since I've been working on my quarterly goals and I'm gonna do these same four. And then I have slight changes on my habit tracker 
um, which we'll talk about in a second. So my plan is basement organization, Chinese, daily wellness, and friend and family time. So I plan to fill these in exactly the same. So basement organization, uh, Chinese, uh, including Rosetta Stone. I actually, um, there's a potential I'm gonna finish Rosetta Stone um, here. So that would be pretty exciting. And then daily wellness and friend family time. I'm trying to be kind of like holistic with my daily wellness. Um, so health and fitness, but also kind of more broad wellness activities. So my plans are workout, contact friend or family, Chinese practice and AM PM routine. So workout is a daily habit. I only work out on weekdays, to be honest. Um, but, you know, I try my best. So contact friend or family. I want to talk to somebody at least once a week. Um, Chinese practice. Again, this is a daily habit, but really a weekday habit. <laughs> and then AM, PM routine. I'm kind of refining what I want those to look like, um, but working on that. Um, for my habits, most of them are working for me. I will say my tarot reading is not really working for me for whatever reason. So I'm gonna drop that one for this quarter and I'm just not gonna do it. Um, so I have workout, I have AM routine, I have a PM routine. So this is including things like um, obviously brushing my teeth, flossing, things like that, but also my skincare plans, um, things like that. Chinese, uh, talk to someone. I work from home, so this is not a guarantee. Um, Pepper's teeth. We have a vet appointment in April, so hopefully that'll be looking good. Reading. I put in wash hair. I don't wash my hair every day. I have curly hair. It would be terrible for my hair. Um, but it's nice to track when I wash my hair so I can kind of track how it's doing. And then show me your drills is going to be done. I haven't decided if I'm going to uh, join her remaining workshops or if I'm going to do something else. But I'm just gonna mark this as calligraphy because I'm kind of liking the daily calligraphy practice. Um, so I might keep doing that. Notes, I've been filling in my YouTube and Instagram subscriber counts. Um, I don't know if that's really, I don't do this because my goal is to get tons of subscribers, um, but something that I've been thinking about, uh, for books to read, I'm going to write in whatever I need to get read for ARCs, uh, advanced reader copies. I don't remember what that is. I have a spreadsheet. I will figure that out. For podcasts to listen to, I'm just not good at that. So um, I'm gonna just put no such thing as a fish again. I'm curious to try it out and then I'm just bad at actually doing it. Uh, plans to be social, probably curling's gonna come into play. Um, might have movie night with a friend, things like that. Not really sure. Healthy eating intentions. For this month, I've been trying out new recipes, which has not really been working, um, probably because I don't think that 52 weeks of cooking on Reddit is actually the right one for me. So I'm gonna try to just cook more generally. Um, I have a lot of cookbooks, so I should just use them and then focus on getting enough water. And then lastly, fitness and movement plans. Um, my plan here is curling, grow with Joe, and try out a new YouTube workout challenge. I didn't really do a new workout challenge, but um, I'm gonna stick with curling. Grow with Joe is also still really working with for me. And then uh, new YouTube fitness channel. Just try out somebody's videos I haven't done before. I think that's gonna be my plan. So that's what this stuff all is. And then we get into the dailies, which are just going to be filled out by me every day. I don't plan those ahead. So this is really all I need to do um, to get my stuff set up. I fill in these last little bits uh, when we actually get to the start of the month. 
Um, so I'm just gonna stick these guys back in here. And that's all I really have for today. So pretty simple, but I'm excited to get started for March. So as always, please like and subscribe below. Uh, let me know if you're using the Kit Life daily and what you think about it. I would love to hear about that as well. And then follow me on Instagram at Creative Life of Liz. I post some pictures of this planner as well as my other planners, what I'm reading, things going on in my life, stuff like that. And until next time, bye.